Today, there is no doubt that The Twilight Saga, a series of five films based on Stephanie Meyer's books, has been a complete success. Millions of young people and teenagers followed the adventures of these vampires with every new installment and fell in love with them. Now, time has passed and each of the actors has chosen a different path. Today, we will take a look at how players have changed from the past to the present. Although Stewart began her acting career when she was just 12, it wasn't until she starred in the Twilight Saga that she became famous worldwide. Her character, Bella Swan, falls in love with a vampire, Edward Cullen, who was played by Robert Pattinson. Later on, the romance became true in real life, which drove her fans crazy. Despite owning her success to the saga, she didn't limit herself to the stereotype of the typical Hollywood pretty girl. Her punk chic style and her preference for independent films like Woody Allen's Cafe Society or Seaberg made her become more of an alternative yet engaging actress. Moving away from her girl next door reputation might have been controversial at first, but in a way, she seemed to have enjoyed the change after all. Robert Pattinson began his career as an actor at the age of 15 in the London Theatre Club and was already known as an actor when he was cast in Twilight. Still, it's pretty clear that his success came with the saga. It was during that time that Time Magazine and Forbes included him among the most influential and best paid actors in the world. True to his original vocation, after Twilight, he dodged a few big budget films and chose to play more dynamic characters, think of Cosmopolis, in more controversial genres like thriller and science fiction. Pattinson is also a musician, and in 2015, he held campaigns to protect children's rights. And most recently, he returned with The Batman, working with director Matt Reeve. Burke was far from being a stranger to film. He appeared in 24, Gilmore Girls, and Fringe before Twilight came along. During this time, he played the wolf in Red Riding Hood and Miles Matheson, a leading character in the science fiction series Revolution. Then, after the end of the saga, he played in the horror film Lights Go Out, and today in the action series 911, Lone Star. Before becoming an actor, Burke was a musician. By the age of 15, he had already been part of a band and moved to LA after striking a deal with a record company. She played Alice Cullen, one of the most beloved characters of the saga. Before she got the part, she was pretty much waiting to be discovered by the public. Ever since, she has starred in a few thrillers and horror films like Summer's Blood and The Apparition. Generally speaking, she is still looking for that great hit. She appeared in the TV show Pan Am, which only aired for one season, and then in the film Bombshell, released in 2019. Unfortunately, in none of these latest releases do we see Green undertake the challenge of a leading role. Despite appearing in movies like City of Dead Men and Heart, Baby, Rathbone is clearly focused on his musical career. Even during the filming of each of the installments of the Twilight Saga, he was still part of 100 Monkeys, who he toured with in 2009 and 2011. He also released an album called American Spirits Blues. In 2003, before joining the Twilight franchise as Rosalie Hale, Nikki Reed was known for playing one of the leading roles in 13, a movie she co-wrote with Catherine Hardwick. The film is based on Reed's life and earned her an award for best debut, along with several other nominations. Before the Twilight Saga ended, Reed had already entered the world of music. Together with her then-husband, Paul McDonald, she released two short albums, The Best Part, 2012, and I'm Not Falling, 2014. She also directed a few music videos. In April 2015, after divorcing McDonald, she had a daughter with actor Ian Somerhalder, who she eventually married. She later founded her own sustainable jewelry brand, Bayou With Love. In Twilight, Kellen Lutz played Emmett, one of the members of the Cullen Vampire Clan. He made his film debut in 2006 with the teenage film Stick It, but became better known for his role in the saga. He then went on to play Poseidon in Immortals, voiced Tarzan for the animated movie, and starred in The Legend of Hercules. He is now the protagonist of FBI, Most Wanted, released in January 2020, where he plays Agent Kenny Crosby. Before becoming Renee, Bella Swan's unpredictable mother, Clark shared the stage with Billy Burke in 24, where she was cast as Nina Myers. That's pretty far from her screen debut, which was a Volkswagen commercial called Synchronicity. While filming the different installments, she ventured into the world of crime and espionage with covert affairs, and she currently has a role in Bosch, 
A detective fiction. After playing Angela Weber, Bella's best human friend, the actress's most important role was without a doubt Rosita Espinosa in The Walking Dead. Serato started her career with brief TV appearances and then played Susie Crabgrass in the series Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. At the end of 2020, she is expected to bring Selena Quintanilla to the small screen in Netflix's Selena, a biographical series about the Mexican-American star known as the Queen of Tejano Music. Serratos actively promotes her vegan lifestyle and is in a relationship with David Boyd, Danish rock band New Politics lead singer. Unlike most of her colleagues from the Twilight Saga, her role as Jessica, one of the protagonist's friends, was far from being the highlight of her career. Kendrick had already had a leading role in the Broadway musical High Society, for which she was nominated for a Tony as Best Featured Actress. For Up in the Air, she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Then she went on to act in various musicals, like Into the Woods and Pitch Perfect. She also voiced Poppy in Trolls, and came back for the sequel, Trolls 2 World Tour. Kendrick has shared the screen with celebrities like George Clooney, Meryl Streep, and Ben Affleck, and as if that wasn't enough, she even had time to write an autobiographical book called Scrappy Little Nobody. Today, she stars in the series Love Life that was released by HBO this year. In the saga, Chon played Eric Yorkie, Bella's classmate. He became well-known after playing Peter Wu in Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior. After Twilight, he starred in Revenge of the Green Dragons, produced by Martin Scorsese, and in other independent films. In 2018, he joined the detective series Deception. But Chon is much more than just your average actor. He started writing and directing in 2015, and one of his films, Gook, has received a number of awards, including one for Best Director. He also hosts a YouTube channel and is a member of BGA, a K-pop parody band. As if that wasn't enough, he co-owns a chain of clothing stores in California. He had initially auditioned for the role of a vampire in the Twilight Saga, but finally ended up playing Mike, Bella's friend whose love for her is never reciprocated. But before playing Mike Newton, Welch was known for his role as Luke Girardi in the series Joan of Arcadia. After Twilight, he went on to star in Z Nation, a post-apocalyptic series released in 2014, and the film Boy Meets Girl. However, by the looks of his filmography, Welch's strong point seems to be in the dark and gloomy underworld of detective and crime series. CSI, Las Vegas, and its following spin-offs set in Miami and New York. Bones, Grimm, Crossing Jordan, and Criminal Minds are just a few of the popular TV shows he has appeared in. Don't forget to write the details you wonder about the Twilight Saga in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video for more of this kind of content.